Good morning grade 5, teacher Rex here and today we'll learn a new lesson, okay? So let's proceed. Before we start with our lesson for today, let us have first our morning prayer. So, precious and lovingly heavenly Father, thank you for this day that you had given unto us. Thank you also for the good health and, this, and the blessings that you had given. Despite this crisis, this calamity, or this pandemic, Lord, you have never failed to give us provisions to sustain us throughout the day. I also thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to acquire knowledge and learning despite this pandemic. I also pray, Lord, for everyone's safety in their homes, their workplace, and even in our school. This I pray in the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's proceed. So our Bible verse for the week was taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 7, which states, Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Okay? So which means to say, Hindi kita magsalig kinanglan o hindi kita kinanglan magsalig sa aton nga wisdom o kung kinaiya nga usog. Instead, we must learn to trust the Lord and to fear Him which means to say nga ang fear na de hindi na di kahadlok. Ang fear na de ginadetermine na de ang kung sino ang may authority nga ginahatag mo sa imo kagalingon sino may otoridad sa imo. Okay? So, ang may authority lang sa aton is ang Ginoo, okay? So next, as a sort of review, last time you have learned about the filling out of forms, okay? So nag fill out kita dito sa mga admission forms, sa mga mag withdrawal slip, okay? And many more. So today, we will tackle about understanding the types of nouns in English. Okay, so let's proceed. In this lesson, we will tackle these questions. So what is a noun? And why are nouns important? And what are the different types of nouns? Okay, so let's proceed. So first, let us define what is a noun. So a noun is a word that identifies a person, animal, place, thing, or idea. And nouns are the most important words Important words in the English language. So why are nouns important? Because it is difficult to speak and write about things without them. So which means to say, a noun is, in our English subject, subject, nouns are everywhere. Okay, so let's proceed. So example of nouns are, per, are the name of a person, animal, place, thing, or idea, right? So in a... Example of a person, John, Sharon, mother, and brother, so animal, dog, cow, so on and so forth, the place is restaurant, thing, money, lamp, light, so everything. So how about the ideas? Includes rules, concept, emotion, and policy. Okay, so let's proceed. Those are the examples of nouns. Next, what are the types of nouns? Okay, so let's proceed. The types of nouns includes five. The proper nouns, abstract, collective, common, and concrete. So the first part is the, or the first type is the proper nouns. So what are the proper nouns? So proper nouns are words used to name a particular person, place, or thing. And it begins with a capital letter. So the key word is the capital letter. So kung may capital letter, that is a proper noun. So for example, we shall visit the Library of Congress soon. And number two, Britain, Britain invented English, and Sarah is a model student in our school. So the proper nouns there are the Library of Congress, Britain, English, Sarah, and Sarah. Okay, so let's proceed. How about the abstract nouns? So abstract nouns are those words referring to the things that cannot be observed using the senses, which means to say, it cannot be touched, it cannot be seen, it cannot be smelled, okay? Five senses. So, it's either an idea, concepts, or emotions that doesn't name physical objects, okay? So, the key word there are the idea, concepts, or emotions. So, any idea, concepts, or emotions are abstract nouns, for example. She continues to feel the happiness in her heart. And... So the, the abstract down there is the happiness. For number two example, Lala takes pride in her work. So what do you think is the abstract noun 
in the sentence. So, very good, it is pride. Okay, so let's proceed. With the collective nouns, collective nouns are used to name a group of persons, places, animals, or things as one. Okay, for example, a band of musicians performed last night. So the collective noun there is very good, a band. Okay, next, the colonies of ants scare my son. So the collective nouns there are, or is the colony. Okay, so our batch graduated three years ago, so it is the batch. Okay, so let's proceed. Next is the common nouns. So what are common nouns? Common nouns are words that used to name general names, persons, places, things, animals, and ideas. So it begins with a lower case. So ano ganito yung ang uh, begin sa uppercase or sa capital letter? Okay, very good. It is the or the proper noun. Okay. So sa common nouns naman, it begins with a lower case or gamay nga or small letter ang ginabigyan niya. So for example, compile these books in my shelf. So the common noun there is or are books. So and number two, his cat eats my dinner. The common noun there is is the cat. So, number three, people in this place are strange. Okay, so the common down there are is the place. Okay, so let's proceed with the concrete nouns. So, concrete nouns are words that name actual things that can be identified using the five senses. Touch, sight, taste, smell, and hear, and hearing. Okay, so ang kagina naman niya, so list ng concrete nouns is very good, the abstract noun which cannot be identified using the five senses. Okay, example of concrete nouns is, let me read sentence one, always, okay, sentence one, sentence one, always use pencil when taking the examination. Okay, so the concrete nouns there is the pencil. Okay, so let's proceed. For example, number two, I have to arrange the tables first. Which, what is the concrete noun? Okay, tables. Okay, next, pick the phone when someone is calling. The concrete noun is the phone. Okay, very good. You're following. Next. As a summary of our lesson for today, what about nouns and the types of nouns? So nouns, so what again, what is noun? Noun is a name of person, place, ideas. Ano pa? Okay, very good. So what are the different types of nouns in it? So proper nouns, ano pa? abstract nouns, concrete nouns, ano pa get? So let's go back, common nouns, and collective nouns, okay? So let's proceed. So for your activity, answer page 19 or pages 19 to 20, exercises A and B. Okay, so thank you and God bless you. Thank you, everyone. Lamat.